In TDO, you have the option of using one of our built-in medical history forms, or you can create your own. To set your system up to use the customizable medical history, you will go to Administrative on the top menu bar, Edit Control Table. Under the Application Settings tab, you would select Customizable from the Medical History Type box. Once you select Customizable, you now have an additional button here that says Customize, and this is where you would go to set up your different medical histories as well as add and change your questions. When you click the Customize button, this brings up a list of all of the medical histories you have set up in your system. Currently, I don't have any medical history questionnaires, so I'm going to add one by clicking the Add button. Next, you would name this medical history. It has the date created and the number of pages you wish this medical history to be. I'm going to set mine to be two, and I want this to be my active medical history. I now have my medical history created, so now I have to add my questions. To do that, I'm going to click my Questions button on the right. And this brings up a list of all of the questions currently in my question library. I can add these to my current medical history by simply clicking it and moving it over to the right, or I can add additional questions. Let's add a few new questions for our medical history. To add a new question not already located in my library, I'm going to click the Add button. Select the type of question. I'm going to pick Yes, No, Unknown, and Text. So the user can pick whether they have Yes, No for the answer, they're not sure, and they can qualify it with text. For my text field, I want to enter my question. All right, do you have any known allergies to drugs, medicines, antiseptics, local anesthetics, preservatives, latex, etc.? My summary, which is be the text that shows before the answer on my medical history summary, I'm going to call it allergies. I want this to be a required question. I do want it to generate a letter token. I want a medical alert if they answer the non-default answer, and this question is related to latex. My default answer is no, and I believe three lines of text is going to be enough for the user to put in their qualifying text. I'm going to click Preview, see how it looks. Looks good to me. The red asterisk here shows that it's a required question. Say OK. It's now added to the bottom of my question library. Forward it over, and now it has been added to my medical history. Next, let's add a multiple selection type question. Click Add, Multiple Selection. Let's title our question, Do You or Have You Had? My summary title is going to be called Have or Ever Had. And I'm going to list the options that they can choose between. Heart condition, heart valve problems, high blood pressure, rheumatic fever, pacemaker, and you can continue this list as long as you like. I'm not going to make this a required question because the patient might not have any of these symptoms. You can choose whether you wish the options to be shown horizontal or vertical, and also how many columns. I like the way it looks, say OK, added it to my question library, and now I have added it to my current medical history. Finally, let's add a medication type question. Please list all medications you are currently taking. And my default answer, I'm not going to show my yes, no, unknown. I simply want them to list any medications. Preview, you can see that it's going to have a place here at the bottom where they can click the plus and add the medications. All right, let's add that to our list for our medical history. 
and I am done with my current medical history. Let's say I only want these four questions. I'm going to say close. And now it is listed here. It is my active medical history. Shows when it was created and it is currently not locked. Once a patient has used this medical history and signed it, it then becomes locked. You may not make any changes to the format of this particular medical history. However, you can duplicate it and make changes to a new one. But the medical history as it is once it's signed by a patient has to stay that way. Let's go ahead and use our medical history, see how it looks. Close my formatting options. I'm in a patient's chart, main data, medical history, new brings up my medical history with the three questions that I set up. First question, space for text. I can click off items that I have and for my medical medications that I'm taking, I can enter my dates, my dosage, frequency, and the medications are linked to the drug database. Once I'm done, I can hit finish, brings up my signature form. Once again, once this is signed, if I were to go back to my customization section, it now shows that it is locked. But if I wanted to make changes to it, I can duplicate it. This one is not locked and now I can make changes to that one. That is a summary of making a customizable medical history.